Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Optical Wonder and I use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram where you guys can show me your work. Uh, today we're going to be looking at B-roll sequences. So I don't know if you remember, a couple of weeks back, Zion Juan Juin sent over this gimbal to me to test out. Now I gave it my initial opinion, um, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to, to try and get some B-roll with it. So I'm going to be using just my phone and this thing to see if I can get some like really cool B-roll shots. So that's going to be today's video. I'm going to try and get maybe a couple of different ones possibly. Um, but I need to set up the backdrop here and go from there. We can work with that for sure. Okay, now what do I shoot? Okay, so I've got some potential items that I can use. I've got uh, a Desperados. I have a watch and a necklace that Clocks and Colors sent me, which I am going to be getting some photos of very soon. Um, so if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you get notified when I do. I also next week have some pretty cool packages coming, as in like, a lot which is it, it's crazy next week is a crazy week i'm excited i'm literally going as we are i have no like directive no like plan i'm just kind of just going for it okay so the way that i'm going to do this i'm going to have the watch kind of just resting there in the middle kind of just like that um and then as i pan kind of like come in like here i'm gonna spray the water on just like that Okay, so for the next one, I'm going to be using the Desperados, so that's going to go there. Um, I do have a little bit of an idea. I've got the light that's going to go behind it. Now, I do have the pivot, which I used the other day. Now, essentially, you can buy like this platform pole for the pivot, but instead, I'm just going to balance this on top of the pivot, put it in the 360 mode, so the pivot turns around with this on top of it, and hopefully, I'll get like a, like, a really cool 360 video. I think I've got sequences that I can work with. I'm going to jump into the edit and then we're going to review it in a minute. Okay, I'm really happy with the way that they turned out. Now, bear in mind, these were shot obviously on a phone device with the Zion Smooth X gimbal. Now, the results are pretty good. Now, the edit as well has been pretty good and productive. I'm quite happy with the results in general. Um, I'm going to play them now soon enough. I'm going to play one and then talk about it and then play another one and then talk about that one. And then I'll jump into the hashtag and have a look at which photo catches my eye today. So I think instead of wasting any more time, let's have a look at the first one, which was the watch one. And overall, I'm really happy with the way that one turned out. I'm pretty impressed with the fact that this was all shot on a phone. Um, I'm even more impressed with the next one, which is the uh, the Desperado one. But the, the watch one, I like the cold, cool tones with the Fossil watch. Um, and overall, it might be something that I might put in my portfolio, um, but I would specifically shoot it with my camera just to get that extra bit of quality. But overall, I am really happy with the phone's quality and how it all turned out. Now let's jump into the Desperado one. Again, I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. I love the tones, I love that backlit shot of the, the Desperado, and I used the Pivo as a 360 tool, which was a really cool idea, and it just helped provide a little bit of extra edge within the video. 
and I'm happy with the way that they both came out as a whole. Now, comment down below which one you preferred. Did you prefer the Desperado one or did you prefer the watch one? I purposely changed like the backing music to try and give it like a different emotive feel. Did you feel that? Did you not? Let me know which one did you like? Did you, did you prefer? Let me know which one you preferred down below. Watch or Desperado. Right, let's jump into the hashtag and see which photo catches my eye. Today, we're gonna go to the hashtag optical wonder. And we are going to, oh, it's on 21,100 posts. Go to recent and I'm gonna, that's cool, straight away from Goofy Living. A little bit of an edit, you've done uh, a bit of a Photoshop magic there and I quite like that, that's really cool. Okay, let's go down a bit. Got a spider here, that's really good. Um, Mrs. Andrea, I like that, Andrea, Andrea. Sorry, Andrea, maybe. I like that a lot. It's really like specific, focused. I like it, it's cool. Let's do a few more. Oh, I like that shot, that's really cool. From Ben Ham Media, really simple. Simplicity portrait, always gonna win. Good shout, good effort. Um, let's do one more photo. Yes, panning shot from Faro Media. Police versus bike, look at that. You're getting good at these panning shots. I'm keeping notice. They look good, man. Great shot. Okay, they're all cool. I'm happy with how the B-roll turned out. I'm gonna send those over to Zion because uh, they've asked for them. Um, and uh, yeah, if you'd like more videos like this where I show a bit of uh, B-roll sequences and a bit of behind the scenes, maybe I can jump into that side of it a bit more for you as well, um, as well as obviously the photo side of it. Um, and also, did you see the POV that I did recently? If you didn't, link is up here. Go and check it out. Let me know what you think of that. So with all that being said, create more, stress less, and of course, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.